Hello everyone and welcome back to Dynamics Academy. This is yet another video in a feature a day video series. In this video series we will cover the new features that were released with Microsoft Dynamics 365 9.0 version. On your screen you are able to see the various new features that were released in 9.0 version of Dynamics 365. We will see each of these feature in detail per video in this series. And at the same time we will also see the various deprecations that are going to happen with Dynamics 365 9.0 version release. So this series is going to be very much useful and informative. So let us now see the feature that we are going to cover in this video. In this video we will see yet another deprecation that has been announced with Microsoft Dynamics 365 version 9.0 which are standard SLAs. Yes you have heard right, standard SLAs are now deprecated. My name is Abhishek Doria and I will be your host in this video. So let us now begin. see what was the situation till now and then we will see standard SLAs are now deprecated and after that we will cover the differences between standard and enhanced SLAs and at the end I will show you the list of useful references which you can use for your reference purposes. Let us now first see what are SLAs or service level agreements. SLAs or service level agreements are formalized method to help organizations to meet the service levels when they provide customers a service and support. For example, an organization can have an SLA to complete the first customer response within 48 business hours after a case is created in the system. So basically, SLAs are nothing but the commitment or the assurance that you are providing to the customer that you will be delivering your services or the support within so and so time. If you want to track this, you can make use of this feature called service level agreement in Dynamics CRM or Dynamics 365. So after CRM 2016, there are two different kinds of SLAs currently available in Microsoft Dynamics 365 or CRM, which are standard SLAs and enhanced SLAs. But going ahead, the standard service level agreements or standard SLAs are deprecated and will be removed in a future major release. So for your reference or for your information, till today at the time of recording this video, the standard SLAs are available but this will be going to be discontinued or it will be removed in a future major release that is confirmed. And these standard SLAs will be replaced by enhanced SLAs. So let us now see what is the difference between standard SLAs and enhanced SLAs. In standard SLAs, only the failure time is tracked and saved in case record. But in enhanced SLAs, KPI record is created for each the SLA KPI which is being tracked. So what does this mean? You can create multiple different KPIs or key performing indicators that you want to track as part of this particular SLAs. But in case of standard, you can only track the failure KPI. It means if your service or the agreement is failing, then only you will be able to measure it only the failure cases but in case of enhanced SLAs you will be able to track not only failure but also any other KPI for, for example the first response KPI if you want to capture within how many minutes or how many hours that you need to provide the first response that also you can capture as part of enhanced SLAs. Another differentiating factor between standard SLAs and enhanced SLAs is that in case of standard SLAs, a timer has to be manually created and added to the case form. But in case of enhanced SLAs, timers are automatically created and added to the case form with their statuses and failures and warning times are visible. And lastly, for standard SLAs, timers cannot be paused and you cannot see the time for which the case was on hold and last time it was put on hold. In case of enhanced SLAs, timers can be paused 
and you can see the time for which the case was on hold and the last time when it was put on hold in case of standard sls you will not be able to put the sla on hold even if your entire case or the issue which is being registered is is kept on hold but in case of enhanced slas you will be able to do so and not only that you will be able to also track till how much time this particular case or issue was kept on hold so having seen that let me now show you where exactly you will be able to feel this change once this duplication is done so this is my dynamics 365 trial instance if you want to navigate to slas then you have to click on advanced settings click on settings and then click on the service management area and here you will be able to see service level agreements you click on this and you will be able to see the different service levels agreements which are present in your system as of now there are no slas configured in my system so i'll click new button you have to give the sla name the entity for which you want to create this sla as of now the default entity is case entity i'm creating the same here you can see the sla type field as of now you can see there are two values in this field one is standard and other one is enhanced by default is enhanced but still you will be able to select the standard so having said that in going forward in future major release you will not see this option you will only have this enhanced option so this is the place that you will be able to notice this change once it is deprecated on that note let me now show you the list of useful references as well on that note i wind up this video and i thank you for watching this video till the end so if you have learned something new out of this video then please like share and subscribe to dynamics academy and also press the bell icon so that you will never miss any update whenever we release a new video to our dynamics academy youtube channel and on that note i end this video and take your leave Hope to see you all in the next video till then bye bye and take care and once again thank you for your time